Hi guys, it's uh, Kenny here, and uh, we're here at Great Leap Brewing number 12. Uh, this is their burger specialty place. Uh, they have another place that's specialty for pizza, another place that's specialty for original beer only. Um, so yeah, they have really good burgers here. It's one of my favorite places. So this is the second place uh, we're sampling the burgers here in Beijing on our search for the best burgers in Beijing. I ordered the cheeseburger. It's their classic uh, double cheeseburger. It kind of reminds me of In-N-Out Burger. Pan says it's exactly the same, but I don't think it's exactly the same. Uh, the bun is different. Even the flavor profile is a bit different, but it is uh, similar to a similar style. All right, guys, waiting for my burger here. Hey everyone, so it's Pam here, and as Kenny mentioned, we're at GLB number 12. We come here quite often. Um, I usually get the salad or maybe like a cheeseburger or like a fish burger. The fish burger here is really good. But today, as we've stated, I'm ordering a veggie burger. So I'm going to get the General Styles Cauliflower Sandwich. And it's just their veggie burger, but it's going to be cauliflower based. Alright, GLB Burger presentation comes in a wrapper, kind of like fast food style. I really love the double patty melted cheese. I think it's American cheese, you know, so it's not a real cheese but it sure is tasty, has pickles and mayonnaise inside. Fries, really great and crispy. This is the cauliflower burger and it comes with a sesame bun and the cauliflower patty with like soy and some delicious fries. So afterwards we'll give your thoughts on the burgers. Yes, we will. Hi everybody, uh, it's Kenny here. Uh, greetings from Da Nang. I'm going to do my review of the burger uh, from Great Leap Brewing number 12. Uh, it's a week late, but we were busy. We've been on vacation, but Pam decided, hey, we're having a cocktail. It'll be a great time to review <laughs> our burgers. I said, okay, sure, I guess. Anyhow, uh, Great Leap Burgers, I eat there very often. I like him. Uh, I love the beer there. So the ambience, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. For me, I love the place. Uh, my favorite place to go to, uh, to go have a burger and a beer. Uh, taste of the burger. I would give it a, actually an eight out of 10. I'll tie it with Jingye. Uh, they're very different tastes. Uh, great Leap Burger is kind of more like a great fast food burger uh, style. Uh, Jingye was like a backyard home barbecue style. Uh, presentation, uh, okay, I would give that actually probably a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 on presentation, it comes in a basket with fries, uh, but the other difference is they give you a lot of fries, and their fries are really good. So in a way that bumps up the overall experience. Uh, satisfaction, feeling full and like everything afterwards, uh, like you don't need to have another snack a little bit later, I would give a uh, Great Leap 10 out of 10. So overall, I'm rating it a little bit higher than Ching A. Hey everyone, so uh, we're in Da Nang, and I know we haven't filmed this portion, but I wanted to go ahead and film it. So here we are. I ate the General Sal uh, cauliflower burger, which is a veggie burger. And in terms of taste, I would give it probably like an 8 out of 10. I think the flavor is very good. Um, however, my only issue is that the bread and the bun falls apart very easily, probably because of the sauce. The sauce is delicious. There is a spice to it and it really um, kicks in probably like a little bit into eating the burger. But overall, it has a great flavor. Uh, about presentation, um, I'm probably gonna go with the same score that Kenny gave it, a seven out of 10. It's just a basket with like fries and the burger. But there is something quite charming about like that classic like Americana uh, fast food basket, which it's quite charming, at least to me it is. Um, and in terms of ambiance, I mean, I would say like, a 10 out of 10. We go there very often. I'm just kind of used to it. I think there are other places that might be a bit more well lit. My only issue with it is that it's a little bit dim. But I go with a 10 because staff there is amazing. They make you feel like you're just acknowledged and they seem like really kind people. So because of the staff, I give it a 10. Uh, in terms of satisfaction, how 
filling is it? Well, to be honest, I felt hungrier after eating the Ching A burger because it was smaller. But with this burger, this one is like a decent size. However, I just don't find that cauliflower is that satisfying. I think they need to like change it to a tofu patty or do a double patty or do a portobello and I'm really hoping that they maybe add like a chickpea based uh, patty into the mix but so because of that I give it a seven I think that Jing A has a better like portfolio in terms of um, the type of meat they use or like the type of uh, protein that they use so I would hope that maybe GLB can change it up a bit but I mean their flavor is good it's just not that filling so talking about strictly about the vegetarian burger. I have ate the meat burger before. That one is very filling. So yeah, until we go to place number three, that's it for now.